learn something about fieldwork. If you're new here, it's your first time to visit us. Welcome. This is home away from home. Well, as well, I can say school away from school. And this is where we learn geography. And today's lesson, I'd like to tackle fieldwork. For the past one month since this pandemic, I've interacted with various geography students through various WhatsApp platforms or forums whereby you have been discussing especially the candidates and it actually is a good move and congratulations to those who are doing the good job they at least they're making use of their time well and we have been discussing some of these topics and we started right from form one and when we're taking this topic about field work i realized that some of them had a problem and i decided to air this tutorial so that if case in case you have a challenge with it, you can go through it and revisit it so that by the time you're going to do your exams or in future, you are better off. So today we're going to start the field work topic. It's a form one geography topic and it's in chapter five. And we're going to start by the basics first. First things first, specific objectives. In everything, whatever you're doing, even you right now, you are in school, you have a specific objective at the end of four years. The same applies to this topic. By the end of this topic, some objectives have been put in place, which are going to guide you on how you are going to learn. And at the end, we are only going to know whether learning has taken place or not, if you are in a position to meet these objectives. In field work, we have about six objectives. Number one, or A, we have defined the term field work. By the end of this topic, the learner is expected to be in a position to define field work. You should be in a position to give a clear definition of field work and not confuse it with any other thing. Number two, the learner should be in a position to state different types of field work. We have about three types of field work. Just to mention them, we have field study, we got field excursion, and field research. Both are field work but different approaches. Objective C, the learner should be in a position to explain the importance of fieldwork. Why is it relevant? Why, why is, it, is it crucial to be taught in geography? Why? You should be in a position to give the importance. Number four, explain the procedure to be followed during fieldwork. What do we mean by the procedure? We say that in every game, we have every game has its own rules rather. The same will apply to this fieldwork thing. Field work now is the game. It has its own rules, protocols to be followed to make this thing a success for you to achieve what you expect at the end. Objective five is to identify the possible problems during field work. By the end of this topic, the learner should be in a position to at least identify three or four or five things, challenges that the field worker is likely to experience while out in the field. For instance, you can talk about harsh weather conditions, the steep terrains, you can talk about some such kind of things. Hostile communities, language barrier. Are you together? Number three, number six, last but not least, at the end of this topic, as a student, you are always expected to be in a position to carry out the fieldwork within the local environment. Are you together? Next thing we are going to talk about definition. We say you move from what you know to unknown. And first, we have to know what this field work is. Is it working in the field? No. It means something special. How do different scholars give it a meaning? We see that field work may be defined as an activity involving seeing and using of environment around us as a laboratory for teaching and learning of geography. Involving the use of environment as our laboratory for teaching and use and learning geography. 
We do chemistry practicals. We do biology practicals. We do physics practicals. You also need to know that you have geography practicals. And our laboratory environment can also serve as our laboratory. Another scholar comes us and says that field work is a scientific method of study that enables the geographer and other researchers to use the available natural and human made phenomena to understand the environment better. From his definition, he gives field work as a discipline that uses a scientific methodology. To do what? To enable the geographers and other researchers to use the available, you realize that geography is about the resources, and the resources are about the natural and human made, or the phenomena. Are you together? Very good. The next thing we talk about the types of fieldwork. And we say that fieldwork is categorized into three. We have field study or what you call the field teaching, the field excursion. Some will call it a tours in the field research. It will be so, so, so unfair to finish this topic without us knowing the difference between these three. And that's what we are going to see next. Stay tuned. Let's start by talking about field study. What do we mean by field study? It's the type of field work. Yes. But what is it? How does it behave? This is a field study that is always aimed at collecting data in order to achieve a specific objective. When we talk about a field study, it's about a given theme that you as a researcher or a field work researcher, you want to go and achieve. These objectives normally are formulated prior or outlined clearly before you engage yourself in the actual study. And it is through these objectives that you, as a field worker, you are in a position to express your intentions or what you want to find out during the field study. The study normally conducted by maybe one or two or an individual or a group of people, but what you must know with the field study, it is based on a specific theme, underline that specific theme. For instance, you may take a visit to the farm, collect data in such a study, record, analyze, interpret, and come up with the conclusions. And I believe from your statistical one knowledge, you can be in a position to do all this very well. Field study, specific theme. Talk about field excursion. To excursion, when you talk about excursion, it's more of a brain relaxing, sightseeing. Are you together? To, uh, are you together? And normally, this one is more of a school trip. You take students to go there and relax the brains or whatever. And it does not require any formulation of objective. It's not, a, it's not a must. It's not a must. Are you together? You may have, but it's not a must. And you find that it's possible to conduct this one and the previous one concurrently. Field study and field work can be conducted concurrently. Are you together? Very good. Field discussion is more of sightseeing, outing, relaxing of people. Are you together? Tours, trips, just to reinforce maybe what you learn in class. And what, yeah, that's it. The next, we talk about the field research. And when you talk about research, this one now is from a problem solving perspective. It's a problem solving activities. It's a study that is normally conducted by the experts in their respective fields of specialization. When you talk about an expert in somebody who is specialized in a given area of study. And I talk about a field site, maybe, for instance, a problem as a mind. Like right now, we talk about the COVID-19 pandemic. It has, con it has affected the entire world. Uh, field researcher, field worker researcher, when you're using this approach, you go to the field to seek the problem to 
the solution to the problem we are encountering by finding the root cause. The main aim of field research is to identify the cause of this problem and normally to come up with a possible solution. Are you together? So in today's tutorial, I just wanted to create a curtain racer and an icebreak on this topic called fieldwork. It's a very enjoyable topic if you're keen and you can easily scoop marks. We've studied by the definition. First, we studied about the objectives. Then we talked about definition and the types. Today, you've covered two objectives of this topic. The next time you're going to cover two objectives, then the next two objectives, and in three lessons, we are done with it. Definition of fieldwork as that activity done outside the classroom or in our environment. How together? Just to enhance the teaching and the learning of geography. We've talked about the types of fieldwork, excursion, study, and research. In field study, we've talked about specific objectives. You visit a farm and you have an intention of doing ABC. You formulate objectives prior to. You must ensure you have objectives. Then we talked about the field excursion, whereby we say this one is more for brain relaxing, sightseeing, tour, school trips, just to maybe reinforce what you've learned in class. And the two can be done concurrently. However, it's not a must. Field study and field research and field excursion. When you talk about the field research, this is a research which in field work which involves the problem solving activity. It is normally done by the experts in their respective field of specialization, and they do it with an aim of identifying the cause of a given problem, for example, the COVID-19 I said, and then come up with a possible solution. Till next time, which is tomorrow, which I'll be dropping the tutorial to on this topic. Meanwhile, I'll be leaving my email on my description below there, and I post some of these detailed notes in a Google class. If you're interested, you can email me. I forward you the logins so that we can all learn together. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, share, subscribe, please. Thank you so much.